My name is Suki Smith. Um, I'm part of a band called Madam. I'm at Real World, and we're part of the B and W project. I found this island in the back of your mind, a special kingdom, yours and mine. At the moment, my band is Jeff Townsend, who plays drums. Um, and he's really inventive and fantastic and doesn't mind me just giving him a two chord song that goes all the way through it seems just on my dumb guitar and me going no it's like this it's like this like this and he'll sit there and he'll he'll not take the piss he'll just entirely understand and, and sort of come up with beautiful um, drum lines at the moment um, I've got a couple of bass players but um, the person that played on this is called he's called Patrick Durkin um, and he's absolutely lovely and very musical and quiet and intense and and very lovely. Um, and on cello is a girl called Sarah Gill, who I found in another band and poached her. <laughs> I've taken her on tour, me and her go on tour around Italy quite a lot, so that's, she's my little pal, um, as well as being brilliant. And um, and then, uh, then there's uh, John Robertson, who plays um, lots of atmospheric uh, guitars um, and is a brilliant sort of um, soundsmith. <laughs> music that um, is part of this, but what there is this band, um, I'd say is confessional, uh, private, um, destructive, uh, beautiful, unexpected, that's our ambition anyway, but also that's the sort of, um, that's the motivation behind writing when I write, that's, um, I should, it's more sort of confessional and things that you oughtn't to say. And the other day we were sort of like, um, there's, we were talking about another artist and we were talking about how she sort of sings her feelings and, and it's very open and she's very happy for people to hear them and my drummer Jeff was saying but your songs Suki are much more like look don't tell anyone but <laughs> so that's more sort of where they start and sonically they become um, more adventurous and uh, because some of what I'm writing about is sound sweet but it actually has kind of a, a darker point to it then sonically that becomes um, something that we can really play with so there's massive distorted guitars sometimes or little snaky kind of bass line that might seem um, like it could be out of place with sort of like quite a sweet folky song but actually it sort of fits in terms of what I'm trying to say emotionally. A couple of things have happened to the album that, well, the fact that it's become an album rather than just a collection of songs since we've been here and um, we've all been focusing on these 10 songs for this week um, and um, we've realised that there's a sort of theme running through, I'd say my last album there definitely was a theme of sort of by accident travel and roads and cars and this is definitely much more sort of nature based and I don't know, I mean it's it can't be because of where we are because the songs were pre-written but it certainly fits that we're in this wild countryside. But um, there's songs about um, the earth and the ground and snakes and the sea. I do think the B&W project has been brilliant for completely focusing us on these nine, ten songs as a little one. Um, and we really intensely rehearsed before we came here so that we could record as live as possible, which was facilitated brilliantly when we were here. We were in this big room, this room, um, and the drummer was here underneath this grid that we're sitting on, boxed in. Um, the guitarist was um, over one side of the room, DI'd through to his amp, which was in about, you know, was about a mile away. It was so loud. Um, the bass player was also um, in this room, DI'd straight to the desk, and then Sarah and I were isolated in another sort of vocal cello booth um, and took it in turns when we did passes of the songs to play so that the cello could be taken or that the guitar could be taken. Um, all the vocals would be done separately and a lot of the guitar was done separately but um, in terms of why it was brilliant it was just incredibly important to play as a band like that and to record like that and um, it's caught some amazing things. I don't think we would have done had we been just in a sort of studio situation where you lay drums down first, bass, blah, 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 and build a track like that. Um, I, uh, and it's given us a sort of fluidity, I think, that was is really exciting that we found. Um, 
And there's a sort of magnificence about how intense you have to work and how hard you have to work and the fact that we could all stay together um, and talk about nothing else or, or just kind of give offer each other support in a different way that was it's not the same as when you're in London and you just dissipate and you go home to your lives which of course is brilliant and normal but this has just been really extraordinary and I think provided you know the last a couple of days we are as intense it's just me and the engineer who by the way is phenomenal um yeah we'll get it finished I am I'm going as it sounds now I'm incredibly pleased with the way it's sounding it just it just sounds really rich and I think it's really inspiring that this is going to sound as good as we can make it that you know nothing be lost just because of the way somebody chooses to experience it I think that's brilliant I'm so excited <laughs> I hope it will all be like that one day one day <laughs>